Candy has volunteered to do a demonstration with me of the emotional freedom techniques, EFT. Um, Candy, tell me what the issue is. I was very attached to a cat that I had for 15 years before he died. When did he die? It's a couple of years ago, almost, probably a year and a half ago. Okay. Tap right here on the side of the hand and say, even though my cat died. Even though my cat died. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have a lot of grief about my cat's death. Even though I have a lot of grief about my cat's death. And even though I really miss my cat. And even though I really miss my cat. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. With all of my sorrow. With all of my sorrow. With all of my grief. With all of my grief. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. Good. Now, as you think about your cat, what I'd like you to do is simply tap right here on the beginning of the eyebrows. That's right. Just a little bit lower, right on the hair. There you go. Tap right there on the eyebrows and think about that tearful feeling. Notice how it feels in your body as you think about your cat. Now tap here outside of the eyes, right here. Think about your cat. Tap here under the eyes. Think about your cat. How much you miss your cat. Tap here under the nose. Tap under the lower lip. Tap here just under the collarbones. Tap here on the side of the rib cage, just below the armpit. On the side of the rib cage as you think about your cat. Tap here on the lower front rib cage, just under the pectoral muscles. Now tap here on the side of the hand. Think about your cat. Tap here on the little finger, the nail of the little finger. Think about the cat. Tap here on the middle finger of the nail. Think about your cat. Tap here on the index finger of the nail. Think about the grief related to the loss of your cat. Tap here on the thumb. Tap between the knuckle of the ring finger and little finger. Let's keep this tapping going continually. And as you do, close your eyes, open your eyes, look all the way down here, look over here, let your eyes come around in a big circle as you continue to tap, and reverse the circle as you think about your cat. And as you think about your cat, hum a song, any tune, happy birthday, or anything. Now count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And as you continue to think about your cat, I'm happy birthday once again. Now tap at the beginning of the eyebrows. And as you tap there, think about the loss of your pet. Notice what bothers you the most about it now. outside of the eyes as you think about the loss of your pet. And tap under the eyes. Think about the loss of your cat. Tap under the nose. Under the lower lip. Tap here under the collarbones and think about the death of your pet. Tap on the side of the rib cage. Think about the loss of your animal. Tap here on the lower rib cage. Here. Think about the death of your cat. And here on the side of the hand, think about all of that grief, all of that sorrow, the loss. Tap on the little finger. All of the grief, the 
sorrow, the loss, and the middle finger, the grief, the sorrow. On the index finger, all of that grief, all of that sorrow. Up here, the thumb. And once again, between the knuckle of the ring finger and little finger. Think about your cat once more. Okay. Pause for a moment and. Uh, what did you notice as we went through the acupressure points? Um, at first, I was feeling it very intensely. I have a tendency to fight that feeling, and so mm -hmm. I would have moments that I would fight the feeling and have to allow it to come back while I was tapping. Mm -hmm. um, as we got through it, probably the second round, I found myself using different words talking to myself about it that started to bring the emotion higher again because it was lower and I mm -hmm. was using some different words. So you found some, some other things that were the new worst part of it or the part I that guess, seemed to bother yeah. you the most then? Uh -huh. um, but it did, it did reduce. I know, you know, you hadn't asked me the, the number on tape, but it was probably an eight or nine in distress when I was starting. On a zero to ten scale, it was about an eight or a nine. Yeah. Um, and it's probably down to about a three now, so it's come mm -hmm. down significantly. Well, let's talk about the part that seems to bother you the most. I mean, when well, obviously when a person is at an eight or a nine, it's hard to even talk about it. So obviously what I do when someone's in that level of intensity, it's, it's better just to go in and work immediately with some of the acupressure. But talk a little bit about the grief and about the loss of your cat now. And tell me what's... What bothers you the most about it right now? Um, it's almost visual, so it's still hard to put into words. Okay, so but it's an image. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, he, he was a real character and a real presence in my life. And so it's sort of that loss of that that character. He was a uh, about a 16-pound Siamese mm. Um, mm -hmm. with a lot of character. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so just seeing him and then Feeling the absence is the part that still hurts. Okay, so you have almost an image of him being characteristically himself, mm. being humorous or entertaining. Yes. Or, so it's it's actually kind of a, a nice picture then. Yeah. Yeah. Because I started out with the image of digging his grave. Ah. So you changed from the digging of the grave image to the image of him playing. Yeah. Which you're going to remember your cat, it's a better it's better to remember him <laughs> playing and lovely than remembering his grave. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Good. Let's do a round on that. Um, tap here again. And say, even though I really miss my cat's rich character. <laughs> even though I miss Robert's really rich character. And he was a lot of fun. He was a lot of fun. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And although all I have left are these rich, characteristically funny memories of him. <laughs> although I have only these rich and funny memories of him. And I have a lot of these memories. And I have a lot of these memories. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And even though I still have some grief about missing him in my life now. Even though I still have some grief about missing him in my life now. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I'm going to begin tapping right here at the beginning of the eyebrows. Actually, just a little bit lower. There you go. Good. Tap right there and think about him playing, being characteristically funny and interesting. Tap just outside of the eyes. Think about him. And tap under the eyes. Think about your Siamese Robert. 
up under the nose. Think about those images of him being such a character. And how you miss that. Tap under the lower lip. Missing of Robert. Tap under the collarbones. Think about him. The sense of loss, the missing. Tap on the side of the rib cage. The sense of loss, the missing. Tap on the lower rib cage. Think of the loss, missing him. Tap on the side of the hand. All of any remaining grief about missing Robert. Missing his characteristically funny nature. All the enjoyable memories and images you had with him. And of him. Tap you on the little finger. Think about missing Robert. Middle finger, missing Robert. Tap on the index finger, any remaining grief about the loss of Robert. Tapping on the thumb, grief, the loss of Robert. Tap between the knuckle of the ring finger, little finger, missing Robert. And as you tap there, close your eyes, open your eyes, look over here, look over here, let your eyes go around in a circle as you continue to tap and think about Robert, and reverse the circle as you continue to tap and think about Robert. Now hum a song as you think about him. <laughs> Count to five. One, two, three, four. Five. And hum a song once more as you tune into that image of Robert. <laughs> Tap at the beginning of the eyebrows and think about Robert. Any remaining sadness, grief, loss, missing him. Tap outside of the eyes. Any remaining sadness, grief, loss. Tap under the eyes. Tap under the nose. Tap under the lower lip. Tap under the collarbones. See those images of him being characteristically himself. Tap on the side of the rib cage. Tap on the lower rib cage. Think about Robert. And the side of the hand, think about Robert, any remaining feelings of sadness, grief. Tap on the little finger, think about Robert. Wonderful sadness, friend of yours. The middle finger. And the index finger, loss of Robert. And here on the thumb once more. In between the knuckle of the ring finger and little finger once again. Thinking about Robert. Okay. Well. Tell me about that. How was that this time? Um, there is more relief. More relief? Yes. And I realized through much of that, that I had two cat's deaths overlaid on each other. Two? One that was very old. Yeah. So not only was there Robert, but underneath or prior to Ro the death of Robert, there was another cat. Yeah. Um, well, let me ask you this. When you think about these two cats right now, uh -huh. which one do you have the most emotional charge around dying? the earlier cat that wasn't Robert, even though Robert was much more dear. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do a round on the prior cat. What was that cat's name? It was a girl named Duke. <laughs> a girl named Duke. Okay. It's sort of like a boy named Sue. Okay. A girl named Duke. 
All right, what do you miss the most about Duke? Actually, this one could get complicated because I think it's tied up probably to a whole lot of issues. Well, let's start with Duke and see where we go from there. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a round in Duke and maybe that will clarify some of the other issues. <laughs> Tap here and say, even though I have grief about missing Duke. Even though I have grief about missing Duke. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have some grief about missing Duke. Even though I still have some grief about missing Duke. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I still have some grief about missing Duke. Even though I still have some grief about missing Duke. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. And tap at the beginning of the eyebrows and tune in to thinking about Duke. The loss of Duke. Missing her. Tap just outside of the eyes. Think about missing her. Tap under the eyes. Missing your cat, Duke. Tap under the nose. Everything that you missed about her. Under the lower lip. Missing Duke. Tap under the collarbones. Thoughts of missing Duke. Inside of the rib cage, thoughts of missing Duke, missing her, and things about her that you valued the most. Tap under the lower rib cage. Think about missing Duke. Tap on the side of the hand once again. Missing Duke. Tap on the little finger. Loss of Duke. In the middle finger, missing Duke. In the index finger, missing Duke. Tap here on the thumb, other side, there you go, right there. Missing Duke. In between the knuckle of the ring finger and little finger, and close your eyes as you think about Duke and missing her. Open your eyes, look down over here, look over here, let your eyes roll around in a circle, reverse the circle as you think of Duke, and hum a song as you think of Duke, count to five, one, two, three, four, five, and hum a song as you think about her, and tap at the beginning of the eyebrows, as you think about her, any remaining grief about Duke. Tap outside of the eyes. Tap under the eyes. Loss of Duke. Tap under the nose. Under the lower lip. Loss of Duke. Tap under the collarbones. Side of the rib cage. the lower rib cage on the side of the hand once again think about Duke missing her tap on the little finger tap on the middle finger on the index finger tap here on the thumb and between the knuckle of the ring finger and little finger once again Okay, hey, let's pause. It was hard to focus on missing Duke partway through because I had become amused by how obnoxious she was. Tell me again, now, when you think about Duke on a zero to ten scale, how how bad does it bother you now? It doesn't. It doesn't? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, then think about the loss of Robert. Focus on that. 
And on a zero to ten scale, how intense does that feel at the moment? It's pretty mild, maybe about a one.